So today we're going to talk about infrared thermometers. Now these are not all created the same. They range in price from $10 up to almost $200. First I'm going to go over some of the simple differences you need to be looking for and then we're going to get into the differences you really need to be looking for. So the first thing is accuracy. They're all going to be about the same there with about a 2% accuracy rating. Uh, same thing with the temperature variance. They're all going to be within plus or minus 2 degrees. Now the range, the range is typically going to go from around 20 degrees all the way up to over a thousand degrees. The majority of these are going to be right around 20 some degrees to about 800 degrees and honestly for the average homeowner that's more than enough. We're not measuring things that are two or three thousand degrees anyway. Now for some of the more important differences you really need to be paying attention to. One is referred to as the distance spot ratio. Now the model I'm holding here today is from eTech City. It's a model 630. This has a diff distance spot ratio of 16 to one. The larger that difference, the more accurate they are. You'll notice the cheaper ones are gonna be a 10 to one ratio or a 12 to one ratio. The higher end ones are gonna be the 16 to one ratio. Another one of the most important differences you need to be looking at is the ability to adjust what they refer to as the emissivity. That variable is what gets you the accuracy for the different materials. And it's basically the reflectiveness of the material you're measuring. So for example, getting a measurement off of wood is gonna be different than getting a measurement off of a porcelain tile if you have a tile floor, for example. So the ability to adjust the emissivity value is going to give you much better accuracy. So now let's head inside and cover how to use these. And we're, again, we're going to be using the eTech City Model 630 in this video. Now there may be slight variances depending on which particular model thermometer you buy. But for the Model 630 here, we just open up the trigger guard and inside there is where our 9 volt battery goes. Now to turn it on, we simply press the trigger and it turns on. It'll turn off automatically, it'll time out after so many seconds of not being used. And then to turn on the backlight, we just simply press this button and we have our backlight. So going through the modes of this particular Model 630, we start off with the HAL, which is on the left-hand side there. That's a high temperature alarm. The thermometer will beep continuously if a temperature greater than the set value is recorded. We can then hit the mode again and go down to our low temperature alarm, so the thermometer will beep continuously if a temp lower than the set value is recorded. This is going to give us our maximum temperature measured, our min. This will display our average. This will give us our difference or differential. And then the EMS is where we're going to change our emissivity value which you see right here it's currently at 0.95 just hit the up and down arrows to adjust that it'll go from 0.1 all the way up to 1.0 and again it's going to depend on whichever material you're trying to measure so here's a shot of the booklet that gives us some values based on different materials and hopefully you can see this or at least get an idea of what we're looking at so for example if we're measuring brick we're going to be at 0.9 to 0.96 emissivity. Today I'm going to measure some PEX pipe. So the best one that's going to fit that description is going to be non-transparent plastic right here, which is going to be 0.95. And then we'll also measure some ceramic tile. And that also is going to be ceramics right here, also 0.95. Now I have radiant floor heat in my home. So here we have where the pipes come in from the outdoor furnace and on the gauge here I can see the temperature of the water inside the PEX is about 175 degrees. So I want to measure what it's going to be on the surface. So again, like I talked about, I went to non-transparent plastic, which is 0.95 emissivity. I have the meter set for such. And we talked about those lasers and the how to use. You see the two different dots there? We want to go in until the dots meet, which is right there. And so I am measuring about 156 degrees on the surface. Now an example of where you would not want to have the dots meet is if you're measuring across the ductwork. So say this could be an air conditioning unit, this could be the duct in your home, whichever. And you want to measure the temperature of the air coming out of here. This is where you would want to have a dot on either side. So you want to back the camera up until there's a dot on either side. And that's going to give you the average temperature between the two dots, which would be the temperature of the air coming out of this duct. So we would be right about right like that and that would measure the air temperature. So that's how you would use it for HVAC purposes. So now if we wanted to measure for air leaks around a door or a window, we would again go back to where the two dots meet and measure that way. So I go into the two dots meet and I'm measuring about 71 degrees on the steel entry door 
and there is a gap around the door handle because it's not adjusted properly. And so we have an air gap there. And so it immediately drops down into about 60 degrees. So I can see I have an air leak there. So for our final demonstration, we're going to measure ceramic tile floor here in the bathroom. And this is an interesting one because the way the foundation was, I couldn't get PEX piping all the way against the exterior wall. So there's no PEX piping under this floor, but there is over here. So this, when you're standing at the toilet, for example, you'll have one cold foot and one warm foot. So going down to where the two dots meet, we're measuring about 87 and a half degrees. And when we come over here to where I know there's no PEX piping under the floor, we immediately drop down about 68 and a half degrees. So at least a 10 degree difference. So as you can see, these infrared thermometers have a lot of uses, both around the garage, the home, for cooking, so on and so forth. I'm gonna put some links in the video description down below on some infrared thermometers I've already checked out for you that have the best features for the price point uh, that I really think would be the best bang for your buck. You can also go over to my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash redneck tech, where I have more reviews of other products you may find useful around the home and garage. As always, I really appreciate your support of the channel and thank you for watching.